Hi guys, this is Nikita Ned and on the bench today are two Fermo mugs or Thermo Trinkbecher as they were called where we purchased them. And there's something interesting going on with these two things, so let's talk about that and uh, let's get started. Now before going in depth on this review, I have to point you out to this little symbol which denotes that this Fermo mug can be used with both hot and cold beverages, right? Something very standard for a thermo mug. And also, on the side of the packaging, there is a little indication that you've got three years warranty. Right, well, after two weeks of intense usage, huh? let's say two weeks, let's say very intense usage, these thermo mugs are both basically busted. So, let's get the packaging out of the way very quickly and let's take a closer look at the construction of these things. Huh? There's an outer shell and an inner huh, cup, so there should be something like a vacuum between those two as no well is normal with good thermo insulating devices like mugs and well you've got the bottles, you know, you know what I mean. Right? Um, it states on the bottom that you have to hand wash them and can't microwave them. It has a silicon little sleeve, I guess, uh, for those people who think it might be uh, hot or perhaps that's a uh, better explanation for this, uh, to prevent it from slipping out of your hands when it's wet. Right? Okay. It's a nice detail. Uh, the lid has a nice little seal and there's a nice little latch for opening and closing it. Well, you do need to uh, wash this part out very properly because dirt and grime gets uh, into this latch mechanism very quickly. And also on this one, um, somebody had to enlarge the hole to make it usable and, uh, well, pour properly, right? That's uh, perhaps uh, the issue of the user, or perhaps an issue with the, well, vent hole, I'm not sure. Though, if it's closed, it doesn't really leak, unless of course you're basically eh, holding it upside down, which you never really should do. But, the problem with these uh, thermo mugs is that, the, well, the plastic, I think it's some type of lexin, uh, well, it cracked, and it cracked heavily. And we use these for about a week intensely. Every uh, hot beverage was served in these thermo mugs because it was a camping trip. And you want proper hot stuff high up in the mountains where it cools off rather quickly. And this damage is not only on the, well, pink cup or pink themed cup, it's also on the grayish anthracite, blackish colored, um, well, cap. And it's very interesting to see this. Uh, it scratches rather easily and it reminds me in some essence to a story I once read about the first proper Lexan transparent cups being used in the Himalayas. Um, basically the guys who were using them stated that they broke like glass because of the cold and high, well, because of the cold temperatures high up in the Himalayas. So did we use water which was too hot or is there another explanation for these things cracking up? And this might have been an impact to be frank, but the, the, well, the cracks on the inside, those aren't cracks from impacts. And especially looking at this one as well, those are all on the inner uh, liquid holding part. Well, yes, yes they are. I think they are at least, and it's a shame because they weren't that expensive, but basically looking at these in the box in the shop, I would have thought they would last longer than just one or two trips, after which they most likely will leak into uh, the space separating the outer shell from the liquid holding inner part. So I like these very much. I have to say, for the money, even as a semi-disposable item, um, I wouldn't say no to purchasing them. Although I personally, for environmental reasons, wouldn't have purchased them, right? But these are nice in usage, handy to have when camping, though they aren't uh, 
up to snuff in regards to, well, let's turn these around again, but in regards to the three year warranty. So my recommendation is to buy a proper thermo mug, not a Lexan or plastic type one. And especially when you're looking at thermo mugs, ensure that the inside liquid holding part is metal or stainless steel, I should say as well, because a lot of these mugs look very snazzy with an outside stainless steel shell, but the inside is plastic, which, you know, it's plastic. You could uh, you would, in my estimation, let's say it like that, uh, you would rather have a stainless steel, all stainless steel mug, except of course the lid, which is most likely plastic in every case. So, this is Nikita Net saying, I hope you found this video interesting. Like or dislike this video, at your pleasure of course, subscribe to the channel and personally hoping that you have a better experience if you've bought these mugs that they don't crack and such things and this is a single instance with two of the specific colors that just happened to me i truly hope that but uh well thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video bye bye